the guru word utters his name the guru word weighs divine merits and guides others to weigh them the guru word comes and goes without fear he washes off his filth and burns away his blemishes the holy man's mystic sound is the contemplation of vedas the holy man's ablution at holy places consists in doing good deeds for him the exalted guru's word is the sublime nectar nanak says the god conscious person swims across the world ocean the restless mind remains not fixed at one spot like a deer man secretly eats the tender shoots of the sin he who enshrines the lord's lotus feet in his mind and heart and ever and ever remembers the lord lives for long time everyone seems to be anxiety gripped he alone obtains peace who contemplates the one lord he in whose mind the lord abides and who is absorbed in god's name is emancipated and goes home with honor the body is destroyed with the loosening of the binding knot see thou by going around that the world is subject to universal destruction he who regards sunshine and shade alike snaps his bonds and brings salvation to his home is emancipated the empty shadow of the mammon has deluded the world such a writ is pre recorded in accordance with the mortal's past deeds his youth shall decline and over his head hover old age and death the body decline and becomes a water moss the lord himself is manifest in the three worlds he alone is the bestower lord in all the ages there is none other as it pleases thee so thou keepest us all i beg for the lord's praise which blesses me with the honor and credit i may remain awake if i may become pleasing to thee o lord when thou unitest me i then merge in thee o lord of the world may i ever utter thine praise by the guru's guidance mortal meets the one lord for sure why talkest thou nonsense thereby quarreling with the world by seeing thy own madness thou shall die of repentance in the end the mortal is born ultimately dies but does not desire eternal life he comes and losing all hopes depart helpless in the end 